Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Today we're going to see what happens when we fill an ordinary water balloon with the liquid metal mercury, and then we're going to drop it. Love that man! So, maybe you're asking yourself, how do you get a bunch of mercury inside a water balloon in the first place? Unless you never had a childhood, you most certainly have filled up a water balloon before. And if we use a funnel to try to fill a water balloon, nothing happens. The water is just too light, the density is too low to fill up that water balloon. But that's a completely different story with the element of mercury. It's so dense, it's 13 and a half times the density of water. So you can just pour it in with a funnel. This is impossible to do with any other liquid at room temperature. Sure, you could do it with molten lead or something like that, but of course the balloon would just pop and you burn yourself. Now one of the things that are, is really impossible to convey through a video is this sensation of picking up a balloon full of mercury like this and um, it's, it kind of defies your senses because you expect it to be, weigh just a couple ounces and this thing weighs about two pounds and almost a kilo. The water balloon that I made was a little bit bigger than the mercury filled balloon and it only weighs about 4 ounces or 121 grams. First we're going to drop the water filled balloon about 2 feet off the ground and it does what a water balloon typically does. And now the mercury filled balloon. We can definitely see a big difference between the mercury-filled balloon and the water-filled balloon. The mercury spreads out very thin, about as thick as a plate, and then the elasticity of the balloon pulls it back in and creates an unusual bulge shooting upwards. Now we'll drop it about three feet. Let's see if the balloon can survive that. Now we're just gonna throw the water balloon down and see how that looks. Even throwing the balloon down with a lot of force didn't give us that flattening out that we saw with the mercury balloon. Of course one of the concerns I had was how far I could drop that balloon without the balloon bursting. That's why I used such a small amount of mercury and started out about dropping it about a foot and then went up about six inches each, each time and it held up very well. Feel free to leave a comment or question, and if you do ask a question, make sure I can reply to it. Nothing drives me crazier than when people do that. You got, I, I like to reply to people, but don't ask questions if I can't reply to your comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching. 